Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Dub GM Racer. Welcome back to another Dub GM Racer. Let's fix my sound real quick. All right, there we go. Hey, Tracy. Let's go ahead and say hi to everybody. Hey, JC Boo. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Matt. Hey, everybody. Jim Pro, how you doing? So, decided to have another stream. I uh, had a lot of fun the last time. Um, and allowing you guys to pick was really cool. Last time, you guys picked a 94 brown bag. Uh, that was a lot of fun to eat and to explore. And I got three more selections stuff. So, just waiting for kind of everything to settle down. Just want to say hi to everybody, how everybody's doing. Um, looks like things are coming around. Out there, at least for here. Um, hope everybody's doing the same. Hey, Andrew Savior, how you doing? So I got a and a couple extra items to show off. The I don't know if anybody sneezed. The charms. Finally got a chance to try these out. They're really cool. Um, you know, another great thing was a, a Tabasco bottle. And it's crazy how the Tabasco actually gets hotter. With age, these are actually from 95, but the way I kind of felt when I opened it was like the first MRE ever ever opened. And for those getting into the kind of the MRE, um, you know, enthusiast and kind of seeing it, it's, it's quite an experience to actually open up an MRE and to see something I haven't seen before. I actually got some elements recently in an older brown bag like this that I live like Christmas morning. And to get that feeling again was really awesome. And that's why you know, I think we're all good. But I have to try some charms. I have to have some. And then uh, got my painting buddy. And got all the stuff, some of my can gear, depending on the day. Thank you, Rachel. Hey, James. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Africa Tiny House. Hey, Triple M, how you doing? So how's everybody doing tonight? Everything, everybody doing okay? Is um, nice to to calm down. I know that a lot of things are kind of reopening. Hey, Wyoming Adventures, welcome to the spring. What's up, Jelly Jeff? I got my chat over here. Make sure I can hang out right. Yeah, I was wondering how you're doing, Mr. Saver. I know you had that migraine now. Are you still doing okay now? And then I, I was asking Rachel how she was doing the other day. She seems to uh, be improved, like she said, right now. Better every day. That's great. Continuous improvement. That's what we're all looking for. So once everybody gets, kind of gets settled in, like I said, we can start coding. Uh, the menus today are the infamous cheesy veggie omelet. And I know Old Smokey just did one of these. So it was uh, this one's the veggie omelet. It's. Uh, Sounds pretty interesting. I had it up actually for last time and uh, it up. So this is a 2005 uh, menu number four veggie cheese and veggie helmet, also known as the the vodka because it's vegetarian. And then, uh, that just you know reminds me I just did that Russian ration. Um, I don't know if you guys seen in that Russian ration where I kind of come across that nest of spiders during lunch. Man, that was crazy. Hey, David Richardson. Hey, CD, what's going on? I was eating lunch, and like those who, who actually seen in the video, there's a, I, I should have time stamped it. There's a spider walking across over by the stove. There was probably about 15 or around 15 spiders, like all over the place. So I was trying to get that cheese on the cracker, and I was like, some kept on my legs, and I'm like, what the heck's going on? You know, you know, bugs, whatever. You know, you're outside. Then I look at my hand, I got a spider in there. And then literally I looked over at my pack and my pack's like zipped open. Um, it's got the zippers at the top and it's got kind of open. And literally one was like, bon gosh, inside my pack. And I was like, okay, oh, it's something crazy going on. I look down on the other side and there was like, literally just, you could see all the ground moving. And there were just tree spiders and they were biting me. Or, you know, they weren't doing nothing bad, but I don't know, it was pretty cold out. So maybe it was warm. They said they try to warm up. But that was a hard experience inside. 
Hey, Sir Rocket. Welcome. Hey, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. And thanks for uh, coming to the live stream. Please hit the thumbs up if you like the stream. TT, did you get a chance to check that question out? There was a whopping thing of sweet condensed milk that I think you would like. It was actually really good sweet condensed milk, too, but I don't know if you could have shot that one. All right. So, like I said, we got our setup out. We talked about mini four cheese and veggie omelet, 2005. This one, is a, I don't know if it's necessarily the rare one, but it's, a, I think it's, uh, CT, it was the Russian vegetarian. Had a giant sweet condensed milk in it, a uh, container. And uh, yeah, when you see it, you'll appreciate it. It's, like I said, I'd probably have a hard time shotgun that bad boy. So this is the uh, other MRI up for uh, review tonight. And this one's a different one I've never seen personally, um, but it's Chilean. I believe it might be civilian. And um, it's kind of interesting. I don't know if I can actually show it, but it has enough sodium. Uh, the glare is going to mess up. There's 2,100 gram, milligrams of sodium in this, which is 88% of your daily intake. So eat one of these, you're good with sodium. So the next one that's up for grabs is the 1992 chicken and rice. It has some pretty cool elements in it. I've been trying to research and find. Like I said, the reason I got into this is when you find a ration and you open it up, you don't know what's inside. I try not to research too much, but certain elements I want to explore. And like I see Old Smoky doing them, and I see like uh, G Salt's Nine talking about them, and I get really interested. Like I see everybody talking about these charms, and I finally got some. And like I said, it's just wake up and you're like, boom, that feeling, you know, the amazement. It's really, really a lot. Ooh, it's a lot of people in the death. History Fever, have you had the death before? This one right here. These charms were from a upcoming review I got coming up. Uh, me and History Savior did a collaboration. Uh, that's going to be coming out next Tuesday. And uh, that actually came out of that. And then there's a couple other elements in that. He actually sent me that uh, I'm ready to review. And I tell you what. There's a couple other elements in there that I was just um, amazed by. I actually did that review outside in the rain. So, I am. Yeah, I'm, I'm a lot of votes for staff right now. But again, like I said, three up and give a little more time. And everybody's picking the staff. I was really surprised. And this Tabasco was all for me. Now, keep in mind, the 95 was in great shape. Um, I'm talking a little bit too much about it, but I was just really excited because, like I said, every so every so often I'm always excited to open MRI. But that one, like, was just fantastic. Uh, but yeah, the collaboration between me and History Saver Camp uh, coming up Tuesday. You got to check it out. He's on the video at the same time. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, this fast one when you read it again because it's actually super hot, and I know it's probably twice the heat. Maybe even triple the heat of normal Tabasco. Um, and I just, I love the fact that they actually get hotter. The flavor is actually there. It's a lot better than 94 I had last stream. Last stream, that stuff was like kind of rancid. It was pretty rough. Yeah, I said they, they have that hat. That one had to be in good shape, History Saver. But yeah, so. Definitely be careful when you roll outside uh, with the spiders. That was pretty interesting. It was really cool using the stoves outside. Uh, I don't know if you – I've seen Tracy Phillips do it a couple of times outside. I was like, dang, that's cool. And you use those stoves, you pop open, and I tell you what, they boil water and they cook mains just fine. And typically, by the time the main was heated up, the burner was done. So, yeah, I didn't come here. You see, I don't have a mohawk. I had to go back to work. Um, I couldn't do any more conference calls. So I had to get uh, rid of the Mohawk, sadly. I was trying to get one, but I've not tried any spiked ramen yet. I haven't done a lot of hot stuff since I um, did a 
hot wing challenge one time and I think a double did it with the, the vernal sauce or something like that and uh, that was a rough night to say the least. That's awesome, Tracy. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, so we're going to start doing a final call. Uh, again, more chance to get vomit. I know a lot of people are too excited about that one. We have the daft. Like I said, I'm excited to see that one. And then we got the 92 chicken and rice. And I see a lot of dafts. Anybody else want to throw in opinions? Anybody who hasn't voted, can you drop it in the uh, comments? I'll take a look. Yeah, David, it was, it was a rough night to say the least. Um, and uh, that's when I realized that, uh, you know, I used to eat habaneros, and uh, recently I did. At work, they brought in a Carolina Reaper, and I took a bite of one of those. Actually, it was actually, you can see why the um, the, intense, the higher intense seats are more appropriate to like a thrill ride. Because I felt like I was on a roller coaster when I took a bite of that Carolina Reaper. Scott, uh, Scott uh, I'm not pronouncing it, was Scottish Blunt. Uh, I think it was that. A Carolina Reaper, a Trinidad Scorpion, and I tried each one of those. And when I took a bite, it was like something punched me in the face, and I felt like I was on a roller coaster. And I actually felt it going all the way down. That was intense. So I was really uh, kind of learning a lesson on those. Yeah, yeah, they're all, they're they're getting hotter and hotter. And to be honest, hot challenges are cool. I like those, but I like spice. But I don't like when I take a bite of something and you go numb because I literally, the uh, endorphins and everything in a rush, when I took a bite of that reaper, my mouth went numb and I, all I could feel was pain, but it didn't have no flavor. Now, like, habanero has got good flavor and jalapeno's got good flavor and it got nice heat. But anything over that seems, you know, you, you're getting to the point of like just getting to the pain. Yeah, I, uh, I enjoy hot stuff. Um, but I get a little bit now. This is that one, that one night. It's too rough. All right. James used to actually like it back in the day. You know what? I actually seen somebody at work. There's a veteran at work who was talking about it. He goes, and he didn't you know that you know, about MRA or anything like that. And he just talked about, man, there was one MRA back in the day. I really liked it. It was a, a omelet in a bag. And I'm like, you like the omelet bag? He goes, yeah, it was my favorite. And I was like, interesting. You know, so maybe to each his own. I like, I like omelets too, so I'm pretty sure I would like it. And I like uh, vegetarian ones, even though that Russian vegetarian I had a hard time with. But all right, so we got. Let's see. Hey, David Bracken, welcome. The uh, DAF is looking like the top choice. I'm waiting a little longer to start digging into it. So, like I said, I'm starting to come down around where I live. And it's, uh, I don't want to talk too much negatively about it, but I think that we're on the right path. Um, I'm happy to see a lot of things kind of opening up, but it's got to be safe. Yeah, there's a DAF, a lot more DAF. So CT, you said you don't like jalapeno cheese at all, or is it just too? You said it's too hot. Because I mean, jalapeno cheese bread is, I think it should come with all of them. But to your point, if, it, if it's too hot for you, oh, okay. See so that? I mean, that's one thing that I, I know that you know spice lovers. Um, when certain hot things come out, it's you get a tolerance to it. So if you, I might all take a bite of habanero and it might not affect me, still get a good flavor. Um, but it's somebody else and it, they're feeling the impact of the um, heat. So you don't really get the good flavor and it, it varies based on person to person, just like anything else. But I, I really enjoy the jalapeno. Hello. Welcome. Welcome live stream. So, 
Let me give you a couple more minutes. It's looking like DAF right now. I'm seeing my head. So we're going to get ready to uh, move some of it. Yeah, one chip challenge. I mean, like I said, I can pretty much do all the heat challenges. I just got a plan for like a day off for recovery because I guess when I, like, that's when I realized it's getting older. Because, you know, when I was a kid, slam, jalapeno, was habanero, hot peppers all the time, no problem. And now, not uh, so much. Hey, Smitty, welcome to the live stream. Thanks for coming. The bacon cheese is good. I really enjoy the bacon cheese. I um, I love those on the cheeseburgers or the burger patties or anything like that. So you guys, uh, I'll, has anybody tried the bacon burger yet? I've been trying to get that to take off. Um, I actually got a bagel. Hey, Mary, no, welcome. Welcome to the live stream. So those who join in, we got three up on the table. Daff is currently in the lead. So this one may be the winner. And this is actually menu one pasta. With, uh, I don't know if I should pronounce this. Like Pomodoro sauce. And I've never opened one of these. So it's going to be like Christmas morning to me wait, uh, opening these. Yeah, the, the MRE bagel, uh, it is, I think it's only in one of the first strike regressions, though. I've only seen it in one. I've ordered a case of first strike rations, and uh, that, that was really cool. But first strike rations to me are like really cool when you open one up and we want to restock components, but they're not. They, I don't know if anybody has to feel that way when you open a first strike ration. It's cool, but it's not as cool as a regular ration. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I like the you know, pop up first strike ration. I'm like, oh, this is cool. And then, you know, you got sandwiches and a lot of drinks and a lot of sides. What I would suggest is if you want to restock on your components, order a piece of first strike rations because you can take all components and just set those aside for other meals. Because I don't know about anybody else, but I have um, like a snack bin and I started kind of storing and organizing all that. One of the plastic cupboard things where you make, you got shelves in it. Uh, it's getting serious, yeah. So, Harry Goodell, what, uh, what's your choice? I got top three right now. I got the vomit and the half, like I said, is the one, and then the 92 brown bag. I'm interested. This actually has the FRH in it that I haven't seen before, I think. Um, yeah, I think. Yeah, I, I like I said, the components, um, I, I like to have sides. Everybody's got their favorite sides. And when I bust open MRE and I get something I don't quite like, but I also eat a lot. My cheat days like this is a cheat day. I like to um, sometimes eat six MREs in one day. And if I don't get the components, like I'll, I'll make some match. Um, but it's, it's like so usually once a month or maybe twice a month. Hey, Simply Sharon, welcome to live stream. And we got another vote for that. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of drink mixes I, I like. I like having, um, who here likes the chocolate protein drink? That thing is like gold around here. I love that. I, love, I don't know if you ever had the chocolate protein drink and you put coffee in it and then you mix it hot. That is like a, a hot cocoa milkshake. Hey, Kyle Fox. Hey, Rennes Ruse. Welcome. The chocolate protein is one of my absolute favorite drinks ever. I really enjoy it. Um, you mix it. It does take a bit to mix it up, but you kind of learn to mix them up. Yeah, I, I, um, I find one of those. There's a surplus store uh, local that actually has a bunch of components, and then he sells pieces and all that stuff. And well, it's not a terrible, terrible price, but any kind of restock up over there. And um, he had a lot of protein drinks, and I, I cleaned them out one day, and they're all gone. Oh, yeah, the protein powder. But I, I'm not cute. Like, the, the vanilla is good, CT, but the chocolate, the first time I had that, it was fantastic. And ever since I um, had that chocolate, it was in, it's in a cheese tortellini. I've been, I've been getting vanillas. So I uh, have not got another chance to try the chocolate. But it's the vitamin D and red, very, uh, very hearty. Great. Right, uh, cop talks and race reviews. We got three up on the table. The number one vote right now is for Daff. 
Uh, we have 92 ground bag and uh, the vomit. But like, right now, it's going to be hard to break this. Everybody has voted for this so far. The vanilla is good. Vanilla is really good. But I just prefer the chocolate. And it's maybe because I haven't had the chocolate now. But yeah, I'm, well, thank you all for coming. Thanks for all for the support. The, uh, I got my cake and stove in case I want to heat stuff up. It's so warm up here. Like I said, it was this week and it was 20 degrees in sun. And today it was uh, 63 degrees. So the weather is kind of crazy. Yeah. No more for that. All right. So it's looking for, looking like that. I will set the other two aside and we'll start uh, checking it out. There we go. I use my knife. I'm Tracy, you got an awesome knife. I and mean, this is my favorite. You, I, I really like that. You said the dentist got that for you? Man, that knife is awesome. I really like this knife, but that knife is awesome. It's got the, I think it's the serrations on the back. I don't want to use that. Yeah, I need sharp this one. This is, um, like I said, a buoy knife that I've actually um, went hunting with, fishing with. My dad's an extreme hunter and fisherman. He, uh, say, we went to a, a fair, uh, or what do you call it, a flea market, and found this for. I mean, 15 bucks, I think, and I've had it ever since a couple, of, at least 15, 16 years. So, it is the staff. I use my little one. I'm going to open it up and see what we got. Oh, wrong side. There we go. Let's see here. I don't know if there's a date code on this. Um, maybe it's inside. So, oh wow. So the first thing we got it says uh, berries jam. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a jam packet this huge. I guess I'm going to show up. Maybe I'll pull. Uh, there we go. Nope, I got to focus. Apologize for that. So, hey, happy birthday, welcome. We are going to be doing the DAF MRE. So, all right, here's the uh, here's the pack day. So it was packed December 3rd, 19, or for the 2019, and expires March of 2022. So it's got uh, got some life on it. But this is actually a packet of jam. So that's pretty interesting. James, have you seen this cooking set? This is awesome. Uh, I can't. I can't speak even better about this. This ain't even fantastic. So ever since my hiking with the Titan, and I don't know if you guys have seen that. That was a long time ago. I've been using this. I'm still using it. I've been, you know, going outside, and it's still got fuel in. So I don't know if this is. This is. Might I don't know. It might be prunes. Uh, um, trying to see what it is. It's got natural strawberries. And you can feel the chunks of strawberries in it. So you can feel, I didn't know strawberries, but I could feel chunks in it. I'm hoping it was actually fruit instead of uh, bad. So it's got chunks in it, it's chunky, and it's got maltodextrin in it. So it's another one that has the quick, uh, per, quick uh, burning energy. So we have berry jam. Oh, wow. So this is uh, coffee. Says 200 milliliters. One thing about it, it's kind of bloated. I don't know about that. I mean, it's not it's not chunky or anything like that. But this coffee, 2.5 grams, is all 200 milliliters of water. And then it's got the it's actually got the date code on all of them with the lot. So that's really cool. I've never seen coffee like that. Okay, here's the FRH. And we will, we will use that today. I'll have to get the uh, clip. So that's really cool. Like I said, it looks very similar to the American MRE, but the heat pouch is not, um, you know, it's not set up. 
Never mind, like that. One thing that fascinated me about the uh, first time I used an old FRH um, was this uh, brown bag that they did the charms. You guys got to see that thing. That thing was boiling hot. I had a little bit of salt to it. That thing was boiling hot. The problem is with those is it was messed up. It was like uh, the granules outside the pouch or something. All right, we got our accessory kit. Whoa, look at that. Actually comes with a spark. I mean, this thing. I'll have to check that out. Wow, that's cool. Okay, this is what uh, is interesting. This is apricots and syrup. Uh, again, had the uh, pack date and expiration date on it. Very interesting. So I'll open that up and check that out. We have the main, which is the pasta with corn roll sauce. And like I said, I think the most of the sodium comes from this. Not, not, not too bad. This actually has 800 milligrams. So we're just at 1,000 at There's like 1,800 in here. Whoa. Trying to get me messed up. There's two coffees in here. Be up all night. Oh, nice. These are actually, oh, okay. Uh, these might be crackers. So I've had, I don't know if you guys have seen the Chilean cookies I've had, the, the cherry. This actually is a big cracker. So I don't know if they're biscuits. That's pretty awesome. Hey, Jones. Welcome to the Thanks for coming. Hey, Kaylin. Wow. Yeah, FRH, it was in the 95. Oh, that thing had the card sleeve in it. And I was like, eh, let me track this. And you guys got to check it out. That thing was pretty amazing. This actually looks, it's got um, like a residue on it. I don't think anything popped, but it's kind of sticky, and that's it's kind of scary. All right, well, we've got the isotonic drink pineapple flavor. The packaging is really interesting. Um, it almost looks like this one was cut at the very top. It's got a line there. And then that is it. So, not a huge session, but I can't wait to throw it up on the wall of reviews. I want to get in this accessory kit. Look at that. It's the first time I've seen, I've seen the spoons come with it. Yeah, that, that ready to reviews, I was surprised. So, look at that. And I'm trying to show it the best I can. See if I can get it to show the DAF. It actually has DAF on it. Um, it's got the spork. It's got the serrated edge on it. The uh, fork side, spoon side, and it, it's not toss away. This is actually something that you'd want to keep. So very interesting. I mean, that's first time I've seen something like that. Because I mean, it's washable and keep. I mean, that's not something to throw away. So we got the spork that came in the accessory kit. Some more plastic, real wild plastic. Got a nice napkin. Two napkins. Yeah. They're like paper towels, they're not like napkins. And then we got whole bunches of sides. Holy moly. We got one, two, three, four, five, six sugars. I don't, I don't need a lot of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. I mean, I have ten of two coffees, and then you got salts, no pepper. I don't know if they messed up or if I'm supposed to pepper. Hmm. All right, so let's start uh, trying to separate. I am um, extremely terrible with FRHs. They're not American. Well, I mean, I'm terrible with all FRHs. I'm trying to get better. But then a couple, uh, I think I did a rush one. And then uh, Lithuanian um, that I did older videos that, man, I was exploding, water going all over the place. Got the fill line on it, and it says not to be eaten, of course. It's got the two tear notches on it. I think it fits in pretty good. They got the clip. The clip is very important. CT taught me that. It was very important. One second. Got a pack over here, some stuff in it. 
There we go. And then back. So we'll try the bad boy out with the main end. For those who are joining, we're doing a DAF in RE. I've never seen before. A lot of cool elements I haven't seen. Now we're going to try that. Right. Yeah, I'm going to say go sugar for the first short thing. That's, that's a lot of sugar. I I like cream sugar with my tea, but I do not like it with my coffee. And I, don't, I just when I'm running keto, and uh, my normal day, I'll run, I'll run keto pretty much 95% of my life. And tea, like my coffee is what I have, you know, on the way to work. And I and I run it fast. So I have to eat until about 12 noon, 12 noon. And uh, then I'll eat again at 5 o'clock. So I only eat twice a day normally. Because uh, if I get as much as I want, I would not. I would even wait so fast. And then um, I, I told, hey, welcome to the live stream. I know I helped this many because many uh, kind of like um, yeah, he's doing really well with his fitness. And uh, he's helping me keep on track. But I actually gained 18 pounds in the first week of uh, not being going to work and stuff uh, just because I'm used to walking so much. And that's how fast I gained weight. Like I, I gained 18 pounds. I was eating like, I'd say, old Pepsi. And meaning that I eat what I want, what I wanted, and it only took a week to gain 18 pounds for me. So I got back on track after that, and for that I was uh, staying back on, getting back to what I was really doing. So got the clip, we added the water, and I rock it back. The one thing I don't know about, about this FRA is look, it's, it's only half of it. I would like if it was longer. Um, they're getting activation though. Let's see. All right, so we'll hold that set aside. I'll set the night for now. I gotta get some water uh, going for my, my coffee. And I love, like I said, I love this stove. The stove um, has little markers on it, so I don't have to measure. This thing is 200 milliliters of water, and it's got the lines inside, so really enjoy this. And uh, like I said, I've been talking it up. Oh, there it goes. Hopefully it can explode. Whoa. Told you they're crazy, man. All right, it's come down. I'm nervous. I said, I'm not, no luck with those things. All right. So I'm talking this thing up, not running out of gas. I guarantee I'll probably run a gas during this. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Tracy, you guys started putting this stuff on there. And now you'll spill us. There we go. Hopefully that's not too loud. All oh, good. See, thanks for stopping by. All right, we got our coffee wire hooked up. We'll open these and then we'll get our isotonic drink pineapple flavor going. It says one liter. All right, a Smitty, 1,000 milliliters, right? Holy cow. This is going to be a little brick. This is actually for one liter. Wow. So I got uh, 700 milliliters. It's going to have to be good enough. Definitely smells like pineapple. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a little intense. This is 24 ounces, but like, it'll be a uh, definitely a punch to it. Yeah. Packaging is a little weird. Hard to cut open. There you go. And definitely gonna be hard to pour. Uh, smells good. I'm gonna spill out. Look how much powder it is. Fill this up. So that's 700 milliliters, 300 short, and 24 ounces. 
and uh, hang on, I'll use that fork just yet. I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna stir that up and let it sit. It's gonna get a little messy, but it has napkins. We got the water boiling. Wow. Yeah, that's uh, pretty intense. You take a drink. Wow. So, pretty better. Hey, Sarah, hey, AJ, JK, what's up? You got love in the live stream. They are actually doing the MRE DAP. Uh, everybody voted and they picked this one. You got my man cooking over here. Wow, that thing is smoking hot. You got coffee boiling, hopefully it doesn't spill. Sorry, boiling. We got coffee. I don't know if there's tear ashes on these. Oh, yeah. Let's see, hopefully that coffee's pretty good. Smells kind of weak. It is a, like a spray dry. It's not heavy granule, it's real thin. So, so it says two milliliters of hot water. Now, like I said, these things are, uh, hey Jordan, welcome that. Hopefully everybody's doing good. Thanks for coming. This is the apricot and syrup and the crackers. I'm going to clean some stuff up. I'm going to save this sugar for another time. Napkins. When you said that, uh, FRH took off. Check out that spork came with this thing. Put those coming in. Real little cool spork. I clean off some. I got everything up just in case. You know, this is interesting. It, this, is, this is a jam packet. Berry jam. Strawberry jam. This thing is huge. How do I... Oh, how to, can't really say it was smaller, just spread it on a cracker, but look at these uh, apricots and stuff out. This is relatively fresh. I'm not worried about being bad, but uh, definitely always got to be cautious. Wow. Those look fantastic. And you should do it that. So the apricots and syrup, which I'm, I'm used to seeing fruit in um, water, not syrup, but it actually has these have maltodextrin in them. So look at that. I mean, that's uh, like full of syrup. That's uh, pretty intense. Lots of energy there. Um, I wonder if they're seasoned or anything like that, like spinach apples. These are the big crackers. Hey, Gabriel, new vlogs. Welcome. It is a pasta pomodoro. I, I, I believe that's how I pronounce it. Pasta pomodoro sauce. Hey, JW Speaker, welcome to the live stream. So we have the big cracker. I'm used to the cherry cookies. Um, so, interesting with these guys. Uh, they look like a vacuum, so they can get a seal. Yep. Nice vacuum seal on them. And they definitely don't smell necessarily sweet. Oh, look at these guys. It's like a biscuit. Like a cracker. What the? I've never seen it. Like, I think it's like a meat snack bread, but not that not too hard. It comes with tools. Hey, Fireball Fred, thanks for stopping by. Yeah. It smells almost like a saltine cracker. Um, I don't know. I, I'm going to see if it's going to be sweet or salt or both. This is, yeah, that thing is just, I love the art for H, man. That is just super hot. Okay. It's almost done. I just, like I said, the, the FRH is super hot up to here. And then, um, like I said, the bottom, all the heat is, 
and it's not warm enough the top so i try to knead it i mean i'm sure you guys all do that too but try to knead it inside the pouch this FRA is moving up uh, <clears throat> all right so that's there let's start trying some stuff out so we got the coffee i'm wondering if the coffee's going to be bold there's no creamer then with any creamer Hey, hey, thanks for stopping by. Um, let's see. So, what are we going to say? Do we think this is sweet or salty? Oh, yeah, it breaks really easy. It's not that hard. I tell you, by smell, it goes either way. So, it's yeah, it has a shine to it. Now, uh, the, the other land that I've had, I, I, uh, on Emory Nation, they have the cherry cookies. They're actually cookies, and they have cherry, like, um, essence in them. I really enjoy those, and I really enjoy the texture. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen a Blind Fox does some rational review on the, um, um, help me out, guys, is it, is it South American? Uh, their green packaging has a mountain on it. And those biscuits are fantastic too. And they also have my Emory Nation. I usually buy those singles because I enjoy it. Um, but yeah, there's, there's some rare rations that she does. Yeah, yeah, I seen that, Kaylin. I seen, I've seen where you're eating those. They're, they're, they're fantastic cookies. Those are the one of the components that I talk about buying and putting to my collection. So if I get an MRE or I didn't quite enough out of a meal, I'll grab those as a snack. Now, this may sound weird to some, but I don't get treats at the grocery store. I don't go looking for cookies at the grocery store. I don't go looking for candy. I like every component, and I mean that. That's it. I don't look for Oreos. I look for straight bars. I don't look for Skittles. I look for um, French, um, French toast. So it's just, I don't know. That's a, it's very satisfying to me, and uh, there's not quite like open uh, trans TFF brownie putting some cream cheese icing on. So let's give this cookie a try or cracker. So I'm not going to give it a sweet or a savory label. It is right in the middle. We use for both, so you could actually use this for the main as like a snack bread, and it has a, a little slightly sweet aftertone. We actually put some jam on it, which I'll do that too. But just by itself, very I enjoy very semi sweet products. It's like a, almost like a shortbread cookie slash snack, bread. but this is not dry. It doesn't make you thirsty, so it's very interesting. Um, Pretty good, but it's it's at that point where you can have use your bowl. So I'll wash it on some of this uh, coffee. See how this coffee's all about. Hmm. So coffee is really good. It's got a bold kick to it, and I and think it would be bold based on its flavor. It's like a medium roast, but uh, very light um, bitterness not as bitter as i thought but i just had some cookies so it's out oh, in a minute so oh, pretty good and you're gonna definitely add sugar you want to sweeten it up a bit it's to that point where it doesn't have that or not that so overall that this reminds me of that cookie with the cherry in it, but it's not like that. it doesn't have anything where it can be used to full so you actually use one for the main and one for dessert now these ones, these apricots might be a little bit intense because they are actually in syrup, actually in syrup. But so they're looking like full half apricots. So the syrup is not bad. It's not overwhelming. It's actually very natural. Uh, but the, the apricots have the skins on, so it's got like a, almost a white through the skin. And a very soft texture option inside. They're not overly sweet. So that's that's real nice. 
All right, let me just give this another stir. This is actually a big mess last time I tried to stir. All right, so try this out. So this is the pineapple isotonic ink that you're supposed to have a liter of water with. I had 700 milliliters, so I was a little short. All but it's that's very sour, even with the uh, you know reduced water. It's not sweet at all. I would say it's more like a lemon lime, like a lemon a lemonade than a pineapple. Uh, it has a hint of pineapple to it, but it's not like a sweet pineapple, which I would say is more authentic in flavor to a real fruit because it's not overly sweet and artificial. So that's pretty cool. So where did um, the jam go? Uh oh. Very gentle disappeared on me. There it is. Look at that. I was trying to escape, but I found it. So this is the berry jam. Hey Corey, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Oh wow. So this is the berry jam in a weird packet. There's a ton in here. Go ahead and pour some out. Wow. So that berry jam actually has a texture like almost homemade jam. Look at that. So that's very interesting. It has a little clumps of the uh, strawberries in them. So we'll put a little bit on the cookie. But like I said, this is the first time I've seen a, a jelly pack like that. It's almost like a, you put topping for strawberry shortcake. It'd be perfect. Mm. Oh. Jam again. No, um, not really artificial at all. You can taste the uh, strawberries. They use the natural flavor of strawberries and not a lot of uh, sugar content. So it's as sweet as all this stuff I initially thought it was going to be. I actually it turned out where it was a nice blend of semi sweet. So it's not. Making you thirsty. It's not gonna you know, zap you full of sugar. So it's really good so far. I mean, let me catch up on chat real quick. That's really clear. The pineapple was like a sour pineapple. And I, my brain is saying, you probably shouldn't like this. And but in the same token, I want to drink more because it's, it's um, I don't know, it's weird. It's like telling me, you know, you probably shouldn't like that. It's, like, it's supposed to be pineapple, but it's not. It's more like an energy drink what, between a, a lemon lime sport drink and pineapple. So I love how I can get some of these four rations and you'll get and then the artificial um, ingredients are reduced down to actually, you know, to where natural flavors. I prefer natural flavors and natural ingredients. Coffee's really good too. So let's make the pop on this out. This is the pasta. Now, hopefully I'm saying right. Yeah. This thing is awesome. I'm really surprised I've ever seen a ration that actually has this. And I'll keep this around as a, a go-to and hold on to it and just have. So you never know when you're gonna need it. Put in my back. So the Everest did a fantastic job on this. Uh, really interested to see what this is. See, this is pasta. This pomodoro pasta awesome. might be like elbow macaroni. I mean, what are you guys' thoughts? Does anybody know what that is? Uh, a good night, Ray. Thanks for stopping by. I mean, I have no idea what this is. It's pasta with P-O-M-O Doro. So Pomodoro sauce. I have no idea. Okay. It smells like a uh, whole macaroni. And then it's got a big elbow shells. Looks like natural pieces of tomato. And again, a nice natural smell of tomato. 
I was trying to get there was a salmon salmon uh, vanilla, and then there was a seafood one. They're both sold out, so I want to try those those out as well. But check that out. That's the pasta formadoa, and I, I suppose I'm butchering that. But large elbow shells. They got the, the uh, chunks of tomato on them, and then I mean, got my hot sauce ready, so I'm gonna do that. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. So this is the. Oh, I guess that's a carrot. That's a tomato. Maybe. I said I've never had this. May never really heard of it, so I'll go ahead and try that out. Hmm. Yeah, CT time to check this one out. So, pop shells, pretty soft. And um, the one thing I would say, it's, it's very natural flavor again. So, like a stewed tomato flavor. I think that's carrot. Um, it's a little bit more closer to a soup flavor than um, straight, like, pasta sauce. So, that's very good. Uh, like I said, it's mixed between the tomatoes, the carrots. In that uh, oval macaroni. And I wouldn't say that it's lacking in flavor or bland, but it's very, uh, because of the natural flavors, and it almost looks like a, um, a, a sun fried tomato or a um, roasted tomato, that flavor. Where it's, you know, they, they've amped up the flavor of the tomato. And then the hint of the carrots, the carrots actually have a bite to them. And they're like two carrots. It actually complement it pretty well. So overall, that's a, I mean, that's a fantastic name. Um, this would be a great meal for anybody. These shells are huge. One thing, like I said, I found interesting is this, this thing has 1,800 milligrams of sodium. 88% of the daily intake, and by looking at it, it doesn't appear or taste like that has that much sodium. So, really impressed with the menu so far. Um, I think they have or have cases available. And then, have you guys ever seen that there's a 24 hour version there too? I'll be looking for. I want to check that out as well. There's especially I just like I said checking this out. I don't know if anybody has a little bit more information, but for my research, this looked like a civilian made by the company that makes their MREs for their for the servants. Hmm. Eating this lot of corn. You know, some of this uh Get some texture to it, and we're gonna hot toss and get a mega mark going because it, it's it's really good, but I like the texture and I like heat a little bit more spice. So, this is the 1995 tobacco, and it's pretty dark. So, had some tea on it when I uh, ate it before, yeah. That's uh. That's what I actually where I got it from CT is in Mountain. I'm gonna jazz this up a little bit. Get a nice uh, little meg bite. I'm gonna try some of that cookie with the sauce or the make a little shortbread cookie with the rest. So this is that hot sauce. Mmm. Ooh. Man, it's a okay. cake. It's also got a great flavor. It's like that one got better with age, but History Saver uh, sent me quite a group reaction. Uh, I'm talking about new stored storage is everything, and that thing was stored perfectly. Now, I'm going to pick this up and make a little strawberry shortly. Hey, CT, thanks for, thanks for uh, stopping by. Got more napkins because there's there's so much um, syrup in here that uh, I mean this is I mean look at this a ton 
you can go on forever. So maybe that's what you're supposed to do with this is make like a little mixture. Hey, Melanie, thanks for stopping by. We are eating a emery from Def. Um, great so far. And so that that Pasco sauce is the ticket for uh, the you know, uh, the main main good by itself. Don't get me wrong, but I like those best on it. No other people do it well. The coffee, everything's been really good so far. All right, so let's try this. Um, this is the like the strawberry shortcake, strawberry berries, honey cracker. That's perfect. That is legit strawberry shortcake. This is, this this becomes it goes with the main sweet savory accent perfectly. When you bite it, it's not sweet. But when you transition it over to the jam and it goes sweet, it's like that character, like a biscuit for that strawberry cookie. That's probably the better desserts I've had. Love mixing up like that. Mm. Very good. That's, it's amazing how I say it's sweet, but it's sweet from its, its own ingredients, not uh, additives. It, it tastes like a, like mashing up strawberries, like a homemade jam. That's how I convert it to. Fantastic. Wow. What a rasp. You can also add some of the apricot. Kind of mix it up. Hmm. Yeah, it's still, the power is still loaded. So they do not short you on the berry jam at all. I mean, there's a ton in here. I poured some in here. I made a strawberry shortcake with it, and there's still a ton in here. Um, I, had, that's, I don't know if you're supposed to dress it up, but I some on this apricot. I mean, it just keeps coming. It's great. It's good stuff. Mm. That's pretty good too. A little too sweet. So one thing that's weird about that, and I don't know if got usually come like this, but it's got skin on it. And when you take a bite into it, it's uh it's kind of weird. I don't know. Uh I don't know, it's kind of weird. Because they actually are full, but I mean I know it's quite natural, but very interesting. Clean this up. Hmm. So overall, great. I assume we got to try the charms though. Now, anything you know about charms and what flavor is the best or what flavor may be the best? I know that Loki was talking about before. Um, what's, what's supposed to be the best flavor? Is there a strong one? Like, what's the rare one? Is it red? I got a red one. So orange. Excuse me. I'm not sure if anybody has a preference or if there's a special one. Red is always good. Yeah, as far as most candies, I agree. The red, the red usually steps it up. Here's the next question. If our charm is supposed to be kiwi, you might know that. Or are they supposed to be like lifesavers? Are they supposed to be hard, like hard candy? Okay. Because these are Starburst. These are soft. And I thought that's how they're supposed to be. So when I bit into one, all right, yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's a chewy version, but these things are, um, this says assorted charms, and I think they're supposed to be hard, but they are chewy. Yeah. I mean, these, these things are like Starburst now. 
I'll try the red one. Now, they, like I said, initially when you put them, you know, put them in your mouth, they're pretty hard. But you can chew them up like Starburst. Uh, but as far as the flavor, I'm very impressed with the flavor because, again, less uh, additive, less stuff. The package is really stuck on there. Takes a minute. All right. But you can see right there, I took that package off. It actually, it almost bends. Yeah. Stick and bend it like a Starburst. So I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Hmm. Yeah. But flavor, spot on, like a fruit punch. And the taste, like I said, it doesn't have that um, preservative or artificial sweetened flavor. It's a straight sugar. Yeah, like airheads. Right on, Mimbar. So it, it's, it, it's, yeah. And I see Jolly Ranchers hold on, but how do uh, Jolly Ranchers hold up in the sun or the heat? I want that pineapple thing. Because these things. All right. Uh, later. Later, Tracy. Thanks for uh, stopping by. Try this out. This is the yellow one. I don't know if it's just pineapple. Or if this is actually like a lemon. Yeah, I don't. I, don't, I, love, I love to see Jolly Ranch too. You know what? I smell to it. That one's a little hard. The pineapple. And that's what that should taste like. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, it's so raw. I'm not sure if it's going to be hard. I'm going to do more research on that. But they're really good. And uh, like I said I was a, a, like a kid at Christmas when I found those. And then coming up next Tuesday. A very good uh, collaboration with Henry Zeva. I also have some, I uh, got Survival Saturday coming up this weekend. Um, some stuff to try out. You guys, anybody have a chance to try the. Um, a packet gourmet chat. Yeah. Maybe you, you definitely want to check those out. I got a couple more flavors of those. Um, but yeah. One thing that it, it fascinates me about all the rations, that I see you talking about some, like, uh, I'm ready to go. I agree. And some cool elements in there. One thing that absolutely fascinates me about MRE is the science nutrition. Basically, you like you know, the package of nutrition and the package science behind it. And I'm um, trying to get more research done on that as far as where it started. Um, but, you know, when I started in Marie's, I'd be hesitant or I, I'll throw everything on the bridge as soon as it hit that best buy date. And now I watch those movies like being history. I eat 26 to 37 year old MREs and I'm eating them like no problem. I'm learning. It's really all about taste, smell, and knowledge uh, instead of actually throwing stuff away. So, very interesting. Thanks for stopping by, Umberto. Hope you have a good night. Yeah, it's a fantastic ration. I got a few things I want to check out real quick. I got the, this pretty recently. I don't know if anybody knows what this one is. And it's the first time I've actually got names with can. Hey Jason, welcome to the library. So it's like um and I ordered this and it was uh, literally February and I just got it. So I'm excited to definitely try this out. Um what do you guys think? Had uh field strip similar to the rubber ration or do it inside. Looks fairly new. I don't know. There's a pack data. Yeah, right here. 
packed uh, 9 16 2019 and it's good till uh, June 5th, 2021. Hey, Viper Wall, it's all good. Thanks for stopping by. We're just uh, actually, those who are just joining, we did an MRA DAF. Uh, that was the vote. Everybody actually voted for that. And, uh, Hey, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, anybody know what this is as far as fashion? I think it's menu number two. I'm sure Piper does. Piper's a brother. Um, maybe Viper does. You know, Viper, are, are terms supposed to be like soft, soft like Starbur? And the expression is actually, um, I believe it's Kazakhstan's newest one. So I'm going to check that out. But maybe people don't know. I, like I said, I got the charms, and uh, they're like soft. Yeah, they call it Kaylin. The charms, are they supposed to be soft like Starburst? They're supposed to be hard candy. Because these ones are soft like Starburst. Thanks for coming by. Have a great night. Emory, good up. Mm. Yeah, these ones, yeah, I, I, I really think they're supposed to be hard. But I've seen, I've eaten old like, ranchers and stuff. Like, you know, you put them in a hunt pack and you go a couple of years later and you got the same guy ranch in your pack and you're hungry. You eat them and they're like Starburst. So they kind of break down. But Viper, we had the Airy Daft. This was the bolt. It was the pasta, pomodoro, pain, the apricot, and strawberry jelly, in which I could make a strawberry shortcake. So overall, it's fantastic. Yeah, I, JW, I, I, I'm with you. I think they're supposed to be hard. So initially, you could pop these in and just sound like a hard candy, but they are flexible. They are Starburst. Flavor still there. Hey, Dorothy, Hobby Farm. Thanks for stopping by. Just kind of uh, going through stuff. We got this one. I'm do. Really excited to check this one out. This is the Kazakhstan menu two, and it. I want to say I just seen Magnus reviews his uh, video. Um, well, that'd be, that'd be awesome. This is I'll try that one out. This is uh, 1.8 kilograms. It's massive. This this has to be, I mean, more food than that. Looks like it was breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Kind of laid it out. Hard things. I think they're supposed to be definitely hard things. And I know, um, talked about this in my, we call it the box. But I'll be doing some night hiking, or not really night hiking, but trying this out. So this is the hybrid light, kind of a preview of uh, Super Bowl Saturday. Everything goes right. I'm also got a few things I'm waiting for, a butane for the stove I got. The problem with the stove is it's about the size of this, where I can pack this up to the size of this. So this goes in the pack, or this goes in the pack, and I think that's the biggest discretion I have for the king stove that I got in the battle box. Um, that's five and plus, but as far as weight, they're the same. But yeah, I want to check this out, and this is pretty cool. It actually has hard, hard soft, and you can charge it. Thanks for stopping my here, boom. And then you can next change the light uh, to green and red. It's got a safety mode, so it's got all kinds of cool stuff I want to check out. I want to see what it does at night because. Uh, yeah, I, I said the stove. I don't think um, I don't think I got the. Uh, yeah, I know uh, the stove. That that's like a camping stove, but I do want to take it on trail because I um. Oh, thanks for stopping by, Boone. Have a great night. The stove I want to try on a hike just to take it out there. But to your point, uh, Kaylin, it's, it's for for camping. Now. 
They were great dev. It didn't come with any job bars. It came with apricots. It came with berry jam, pasta, hormado, main. Um, these are, it's called big crackers. And then the mixture, it's, I want to say it's like a shortbread cookie, but it's more um, salty than say sweet. They go, work good with the berry jam. Came with uh, two pouches of coffee, like this. And, and this is actually a pineapple isotonic drink that um, this is actually sour, but it's for one liter of water. And I only had 700 milliliters in this cup. I keep on telling people, like, I, sh I, sh I don't want to drink it, but it's, it's, in, in, it's intriguing. It's sour, but it's good. I know, right? The battle box, I got one of those. I, uh, I, I, I love getting it. So I had to edit that video somewhat. I got you kind of yelled at in the comments. But I'm, I'm new, right? So I'm a new ballot box guy. I get all excited when I get in. And I go out there and do a review on it. Put in the description, May 2020. And some guy said, that's not the May box. Uh, okay. I, I subscribed in April. So I'm like, well, why? What is it? I guess it's mit, their missions to it. So I gotta, I gotta change the description on that. I thought it was the May box. It is actually a uh, mission 54, and I guess they're on mission 63. So my bad on that. But why would BattleBox send me something like that? Like they sent me on the May description, hey, your new box will be there from May 4th to May 9th, and then boom, yeah. And, they, and then somebody said, well, they send a new person uh, just a random box. I'm like, well, why would they do that? I, I don't know. I mean, it's like whatever. It's cool to me because it's a new box to me, and I was excited to open it. But now I know. Yeah. Um, thank you for your service for all those who did serve. I did not serve, but I appreciate all those who did. I appreciate everybody's working through right now, all the essential workers. Hey, AT Cup, welcome live stream. Thanks for stopping in. We reviewed a DAF MRE. We're talking about some survival gear. Uh, I see your hike the other day. That was very cool. I want to try to get in there. Very nice. But yeah, I want to check this hybrid light out and actually see how it performs at nighttime. Got that stove going out if I get the gas. But I tried getting butane at all the local stores, and it was all sold out for some reason. So I ordered it up, but then you know, then you order to take forever. And then uh, Firmware actually did these, but these are good for my this week and when I'm back on keto. So these are keto-friendly uh, meals. And I don't know if I'll be doing this one or no, but this one I'm really excited for. It. Oh, who likes buffalo ranch chicken? I love it. And that's a cool thing that I can dug out. I got. An old weapon question. These are survival thing, but I just think they're cool. Like a bad thing. Try throwing those down. Made by Jaguar. This is pretty cool this year. Yeah, I got a bunch of 2005 racing. Not a bunch. I'm getting on that. Yeah, this thing actually found another flea market. And they are dirty and they are big up because I did throw them and they, they do pick. So that, I mean, this, these things work. I mean, I got to put a badge on them, but I have to throw them all a lot. And they indent, they're stainless 440, so they're not the greatest. It's metal wise, but I mean, work. I like this one, but I actually start, I mean, this one will actually stick on the top and you start the knees up too. Um, but this one actually works really well because of its prior aerodynamic. But yeah, I, I had to get those. I mean, if you see those, you see a better ring, you got to get a better ring. I really enjoyed that. But you always find those cool things. Uh, still using my shovel axe. I don't know if you guys seen the shovel axe. Uh, a lot of those reviews. I'm still trying to beat that thing down because a lot of people were concerned about the integrity of it. The only thing I found, I think I might have to get some Loctite for the. There's an initial piece that locks into the shovel, uh, a thread that locks into the shovel at the top. Because if you tighten it, it does kind of come loose. But if I get Loctite, I'll probably take care of that. But I've chopped down with that. I'm good with it. It's uh, really good so far. 
Oh yeah, all the links in the description for my survival channels. You guys want to check that stuff out. I definitely want to check out some of these rations. That ration. I definitely thought you guys were going to pick up the 92 brown bag or uh, the um, what's it the bomber. But I think uh, luckily Old Smoke did the the ounce. So you guys got to see that one and kind of got that. I everything. I'm. I want to do a review on that one, but I don't. Um, I was concerned about eating it now because we're working on stream, but I, I, I might do it. And like I might bring it back for the next vote. Now, does anybody know how? Uh, thanks for stopping by, Viper. Thanks for stopping by, Tika. Does anybody know how to do a poll on Facebook or YouTube? Does anybody know how to do that? Because I went to set up a Facebook poll for this vote so you guys can actually vote on this. Yeah, and I, I agree. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty scary. The vomit is a little worried. Like, if anybody knows how to do a poll, if you just please email me. But uh, I don't have a community page um, yet, Karen. I think you have to have a thousand. So I'm getting there, but I'm working on it. Because that's how I'm going to set up a poll when I do these. So you guys can kind of vote prior to me doing this. That way I'm not, you know, trying to. I mean, luckily, you guys all all won this one. That was like, um, that one was cool. But maybe, yeah, maybe Instagram. I'll figure something out that everybody can follow. That way it's easier to vote. Because I really like giving everybody the opportunity to pick what you want to do. And. I just want to stream maybe once a month just to connect with the community, say hi to everybody, you know, see how everybody's doing. Um, I really like to talk about it. I really love the YouTube and survival and MRE communities. I really like everybody. Um, you guys like family. So it's it's really nice to be able to talk to people directly, um, get that interaction. Uh, I see everybody in their comments. I get to, to talk in the comments, but just this live interaction is, um, you know, it's really important for me. Uh, to talk to everybody, especially this was actually my birthday week. Uh, Bert, my birthday was actually Monday, and it's not prime time to have a party right now. So I spend it with uh, my MRE community, YouTube family, my um, survival family, everybody that's kind of coming here today. So thank you for welcome. It looks like the sewer settled on that one a little bit. So yeah, anybody has any ideas on stuff? Um, for the uh, survival stuff that they want me to review, just email me. I got my email and about page. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, the about page um, has an email. If you want to see something like, hey, I want to see this night review, or I want to see this review, I know that I'm going to continue to work on my uh, canning hour material because I will eventually go out there and stay overnight and do some overnight stays, especially in the um, snow. I want to be like an Arctic stay out and I want to get the right tents. I want to get the right gear. I want to be able to um, go camping in the snow. Um, I have done some on ice uh, when, I, when I grew up. I grew up on lake. Um, and I was ice fished, and you can actually stay out in the shanty, which, you know, that's not a huge deal because you got a, a nice shelter. Uh, but I actually went out in the woods, excuse me, on a cold night, and actually stayed now, again, some hunting trips I've done in, in the, you know, way north, you easily wake up to a negative 15 degree Fahrenheit day. Um, I know uh, some are from the north, and it's probably, that's not really cold at all, uh, but... You know, anything below zero Fahrenheit around the area, and then go a little bit north to the windshield, that's where it gets really, really uh, cool. Uh, but, I, yeah, I want to get my gear up enough where I can actually go out and stay in either A, hot climate, or B, hard climate. And uh, that's what a lot of reviews are going to revolve around is items that can do that. So as I get them, I'm going to review them, and I'm going to continue to review them and put them to the test. And that way, that. So, yeah, thank you all for the um, birthday wishes. Uh, like I said it's great to share it with the community. Um, to be here. 
Um, like a lot of birthdays to me in the MRA community. I think it was a lot of people. That was really cool. It was really, really awesome. I mean, there will be uh, from Colleen and everybody, DW and Brandon's reviews. Just a lot of people. Um, birthdays, uh, Jesse, Michael. So that's pretty cool. But overall, I think that is a packet for me that I got. I don't know if you're able to see the labels. They, um, the local owner, it's actually Reese Mountain House, actually got to get some of those. If you haven't got a chance to try some packet gourmets, I would try those out. That's uh, Daddy's Chicken and Dumplings. And then this is Mom's Banana Pie. So I'm excited to try these out. These are, um, I speak kind of these just because they um, they definitely take time and take their greens. They actually have, um, what do you call it, the... Ingredients, they actually have a grocery list where you can order the items freeze dried, which I found fascinating. But you can actually order the items individually, like carrots. Um, no, you, well, you might get them on Amazon, maybe. Yeah, first day W, of course. Um, these ones I just created from the site, biggourmet.com. I don't know if on Amazon, but they are not sure, but. Excellent service. They, you know, they took care of my order. I'll talk to them directly. Oh, you can also. And uh, be careful though. So, a couple of actually ordered. I'm thinking, okay, boom, this is chicken and dumplings. Very cool. They make meals that aren't just cooked in the bag. So be careful. And I'm not saying it's bad, but just be cautious. And it's not like uh, I'm not speaking badly about it. We ordered some ramen. I was like, all right, I'm gonna make some ramen. Open it up, and it's it's simply it says unpackaged. BYOB ramen. You bring your own ramen packet. So I opened the package and wanted to try some ramen, and I opened up, and you need your own ramen. So you gotta just watch out for that stuff. And then there's also skillet meals. So they'll come like this. They'll mix them up, and then you dump them into a skillet, and you cook them. Thanks for uh, my history saved. Have a great night. Yeah, yeah. Ray, congratulations on beating COVID. That's that. Uh, that's very uh, beating that. Later, history seeker. Have a great night. Man. Excited to see you today. So yeah, overall, packet of is a good one. Last um, next mile meals. I'm excited to check those out. So I got some cool stuff coming up on uh, Survivor. If you, if you guys want me to see anything out that's on Amazon or anything, you really want to see it and get a good view outside of it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to I'm definitely going to build the gear up. I want to get um, a hammock. I want to get a tent and just slowly work it up because obviously this stuff is expensive. And I uh, definitely want to um, take that. So overall, that's, that's what it's all about. Hmm. Right, I finished my, my Maria. I I um appreciate that. I really enjoy doing the reviews, the reviews, and I, I really enjoy doing the survival reviews because I'm learning and reviewing. I mean, back before I got a life draw or a Sawyer filter, I didn't know. Um, I didn't know. How to get water out of the stream. I know it may sound bad. I didn't know how to get water out of the stream. I didn't know how to get fresh water, but now I know. And if stuff hits the fan, I know how to get fresh water. I mean, obviously, if you're boiling it, and that survival guide that you got, um, that, I mean, reading to that really helpful too, because it has a bunch of survival techniques. Um, but yeah, I'll check it out. Like, there's a, like a hammock. Don't check it out. I'm gonna get, I'll find a couple good ones, maybe try them out. But, very interesting. But yeah, it's uh, definitely been fun reviewing. Definitely been fun checking out. It's a great hobby, but it's definitely been a lot of fun and exciting times. And uh, I should keep a blooper reel of stuff, and I, I do have all my footage. should put a blooper together because I don't know if you guys have ever had uh, any live streams. I, I, last time I uh, – last live stream I choked uh, last little bit on uh, chicken. Um, so that's kind of cool, not really. But I was eating and I was talking, and I should have been just eating. 
and uh, breathe in some of the chicken and I take care of that. But the blue reel, and where I stop breaks and I fall down or just crazy. Like, uh, well, I didn't really choke. But, you know, I, I basically took the like stringy chicken and it kind of like sucked it into the pipe and I was coughing. And a lot of people thought, you know, it's okay, but it actually turned out all right. So it was pretty cool. But uh, yeah, like the, I don't know if you guys uh, during reviews or other reviewers were. I went to take a bite one time and put cayenne pepper on top of the um, like a bite, and I breathed it while I was taking a bite, and it was like pepper spraying myself. So I had to take like three minutes break just to clear it out. Because I'm like, oh, this is like exciting. I get excited. And right when I took a bite, I breathed it and I sucked in cayenne pepper, and I was like, oh, coughing the whole works. And I'm like, oh man, yeah, I get, I get so excited sometimes to try a mega bite that. Sucking in cayenne pepper and choking, but uh, yeah, it's definitely. Uh, I, I should have had more food uh, footage for the spiders because if I would have caught a spider coming in my pack, like from the zipper, like just they're everywhere, right? And you look over the zipper, top of the zipper, and there's just one streaming down from the web inside my pack. Like, I'm gonna go check this out. So, I, was, I mean, just catching that kind of stuff would have been. Pretty interesting. I right? go outside and doing stuff outside. It, uh, it's pretty interesting too. Oh man, DW. Yeah, that's that's kind of scary. Yeah, they, they, they're um. The asthma. Did you did you like go to eat something and, and uh, breathe it in, or did it just happen? I'm gonna my coffee. Hmm. I, uh, I didn't have, I never had asthma, but I did have problems with uh, seasonal asthma. That was pretty, pretty intense before. Definitely, uh, scary. hopefully, um, seems to recover. But that's, it's definitely intense. Yeah, I got more uh, 2005 JW fun. Uh, check more. Got a um, couple of news that uh, it's a couple of interesting ones in the 2005s. Like, has anybody heard of Chicken Catatelli? Because that was particularly interesting. A lot of the amenities are that. Yeah, we were able to pause. That's good. Yeah, I, AR from the live stream. Got, uh, I, had, I had to get a couple of your cases. Uh, you had quite a deal up there. I've um, got Case A and Case C from Foreign Emory. If you guys want a, a decent deal, uh, you definitely want to go there and get some. They have uh, American MREs. Um, probably the best you're going to get right now. But I, I, couldn't, I couldn't resist. I had to, I'm had. i running low on American MREs and had to restock. So, pretty cool that you guys actually come across some cases. Hopefully, that's turning out for you guys. But if you guys want any American MREs or if you need to restock, uh, check out the website, sure. Yeah, I, really, I thought it was really cool you guys had cases for sale. And I was like, oh, man, I was down to a couple menus on my American MREs, and I'm like, i got to restock, but I can get them right now. It's very hard to get them. So I appreciate that uh, you guys got those cases. And, but like I said, if anyone needs a case of MREs, I don't think I got any more to sell them quick, but... Um, yeah, MREs are sold out everywhere, so I was really surprised if Marie actually got them. Uh, links down in the description if you guys want to check that out. If you guys need them, uh, I need money to restock. But yeah, uh, our no, we had the MRE half today. That was the choice. There were three choices up. Everybody picked this one, and I tell you, that's pretty good. I was really impressed by this meal. We had the apricots, uh, the strawberry jam. Biscuits, pasta, pomodoro. Uh, so I might be mispronouncing that. Yeah, it was it was fantastic. Now, one of the things I really enjoy, I love American MREs, and I'll always be able to eat those. And I'm, like I said, always my go-to. One thing I really enjoy about eating uh, foreign MREs is um, a different flavor profiles. And B, sometimes the uh, artificial sweeteners and all that stuff is kind of reduced, so you don't get that more natural flavor. You know, like the chocolate, 
I prefer the chocolate um, Frosties because it, it's not so sweet. It has a little bitterness to it. Um, but there are some American chocolates that I like that too. But I, you know, I just I love I love going to uh, yeah I, I love going to Point and Marie to to experience um, other foods while you know being at home. and I didn't know about pate. I didn't know about biscuits. I didn't know about uh, isotonic drinks. I didn't know about none of that until I got that. But now I look for bad day. Now I look for uh, biscuits, you know, to have because the first time, my first uh, British URP I had, had some uh, digestive biscuits in it. And I was like, what's a digestive biscuit? And I, after I tasted one, it was fantastic. And I was like, oh, these are pretty good. And I never got to try them. Yeah, I mean, I really need foreign rations, but I, my go-to is breakfast rations from American MREs. I know a lot of people want those, like the hash browns, the maple sausage patty. Um, I had the recently did the review on the pork sausage gravy. That is my favorite MRE right now. Um, that was it was fantastic. But um, this one is the uh, the recent one I got. decided to try that one out to, uh, from Kazakhstan. Not sure if I'm gonna do like a, a testing or a, a three meal phase. Yeah, I can't. I see you, you, the hala rations. I want to get some of those. I've been looking for those too um, on eBay and stuff. I haven't come across those yet. I've been really looking for those and and other other new ones. Um, I, love, I love older rations. I love checking those out as well. But I've been looking for um, you know just new ones to try and. Rarely am I disappointed, except for the, you know, if you guys seen the video of the Russian vegetarian. And I, I love vegetarian. Don't get me wrong. I love vegetarian. I'm not, nothing against it. But the main than that were straight vegetables. There weren't seasons at all. Great coffee. I mean, it's one thing to get a vegetarian ration that has good flavor and good seeking. This one opened it up. It was like kasha and mushroom, and it was no seasoning, barely any salt. It had the spicy ketchup. That was awesome. But the first menu was just cabbage, and it was a very, very light basil, or bay leaf, and cabbage, and that was it. I couldn't, I couldn't get into it. I tried and tried, and I, I said that's the first ration that Dove C had not liked. And I have quite a bit. I enjoy a lot of them. Some things I I dislike a little bit. I you know down, but yeah, I, I I'm I'm down for vegetarian. I've had vegetarian names from other um you know other things, but Russian and a lot of people point out in the comments. Russian is known for their meat and their rations. If, uh, your tashanka, your pates, like it is very. Um, you know, bowl. It is you know, like bam, you know, like extreme meat ration, really good. But the almonds there were good. Excuse me. The almonds were fantastic. Like the the raspberry kasha oats, that was great. The sweet and milk was good. Yeah, and um, yeah, I did get. I sent you uh, one actually from for an MRP, a single meal. Um, uh, that's one of my favorites, and uh, like got. Um, it's got a replacement main in it, but um, you know, from everything was going on, but the, the main I, I got a couple of them in that, they were really good. But yeah, I love I love pate. Uh, that had a bean pate in it, it was straight kidney beans. There was nothing, it was like I took a can of kidney beans, opened them up, and put them on a cracker. And it could have been so much better, it could have been like roasted potato. Or you know anything, anything is set up, but yeah, it was really good. I'm excited to try some rations. I still want to try and see if all this stuff calms down. Yeah, I, I, I hope you uh, hope you enjoy that one. It's uh, definitely a fun one if you haven't done a, a, a Russian or a review one. I got uh, another IRP. That was actually a RRP-U. 
I think there's RP, uh, like a single meal. Uh, but overall, it's really good. And then um, I see the Mentor Training Company's got a lot of cool stuff out. They got the uh, new Kraken. They got MRE missions coming out with new stuff. They uh, kind of get everything beat back in stock. I mean, everybody was just wiped out from what was going on with a lot of sales uh, for our you know, all my favorite companies. So I'm happy for them. Hopefully, you know, it helps out. Um, I'd like to start getting some MRIs back into a uh, thing for the reviewers and the people that enjoy them. Um, a lot of people that I know that normally wouldn't buy MRIs are buying them right now, which is great. Um, because they're, you know, it's, it's opening the world up for us. But a lot of people, you know, like, what's an MRE? And once you experience it, you actually want more. Most of the people I've shown MRE are, you know, not like, dang, that's awesome. You know, it's just, it's a fun home. And if I would have known about it 10, 15 years ago when I was uh, hunting and fishing, you know, all that stuff, it would be way easier to do that than, you know, a lot of crazy stuff. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot of prepping. I mean, I, I get it. Understandable. Um, so, yeah, uh, I love, I love uh, all my uh, MRE, all MREs, full MRE, every nation, mentor. I always recommend those to a lot of people come to me, email me where to get them, how to get them. Uh, I try to suggest a lot of people have been sold out, uh, but restocking is happening right now. So, but it was, uh, but yeah, this was a great ration. I really enjoyed it. I had some charms. Um, the art one, though, a lot of people are talking about art, primary, our charms supposed to be harder stuff. A lot of everybody's saying hard. I believe they're supposed to be hard, but I just want to get your opinion. Still here because the, these charms are starbursts are very soft. I actually, get these out of a 95 brown bag. If anybody has any questions, where to get MREs, I can help out. Any of them, you know, there's specific MREs you're looking for survival gear. Okay, yeah, yeah thank you. So, these. 95 charms, they have 1995 ration, and they are soft, like almost flexible. They're really good, though. But, yeah, they are not hard candy anymore. Uh, actually, this is my first time I actually encountered some charms. Um, the, I don't have a link for um, other sites. I know OS 10 works for MRE Nation and Minotaur. Um, I'm not sure if there's anybody else links. For 10 percent but i know that one works and I'm, I'm trying to talk to others to you know get a link and you know give out to you know get, get them try it out try out the website like i said for memories right now the case is the best deal you're going to get right now uh until they sell out and it's probably going to take long because uh i think they the best deal i've seen a uh, free shipping too you know, the American Emirates, and it sounds like he's going to try some other ones as well. So that's great. Um, but that's where I'm going to end it right there, everybody. I appreciate everybody coming in. Hey, like Samantha, Cosmetic, thanks for stopping in. Uh, if you could hit the thumbs up or thumbs down, however you want to hit it, uh, I appreciate it. I just, uh, like I said, I don't want to. Keep going and rambling on. I get excited about memories. I want to talk about them for a while. I really appreciate everybody stopping in. Hope everybody has a great night. And uh, any recommendations for uh, any other reviews you want me to do or anything like that, just email me. I've got my email on my page. I, I'm willing to help out with anything you have questions on. Uh, I love the community. I love everybody about it. And uh, just want to help out where I can. So, Thanks for stopping by. That's all I got now. So have a great day.